Good morning, good morning, good morning, everybody. Welcome to the Fire Northers Lab Morning Show. How's everybody doing today? I hope you're having a fantastic day. You know, it's such a beautiful day outside. So why don't you begin your day off, you know, just being thankful and grateful for, you know, what you have. And, you know, always start off your day with having an attitude of gratitude. And you'll see how your, your day will just flow. It will just flow. So wherever you are in the world, maybe it's morning for you, maybe it's afternoon, maybe it's evening, you know, well, I hope you're having a fantastic day anyway, okay? So for those of you who don't know me, I'm Gertrude J. Chapman, your number one inspirational book coach. And I have taught hundreds of women how to successfully write their books and generate revenue. And that's something that I love talking about. And that's something that, you know, I could teach you also because it's such a fantastic thing to be able to spread your message abroad and help somebody uh, who may be going through a hard time or they may be struggling um, and they don't know how to do a certain thing. So, you know, your message is very important. So don't ever take your message as, as being, you know, lightly or, you know, being something that's not important. Don't ever take your message uh, that way because your message, and we're going to talk about this more today. Your message is very important. Your message is very, very important. And you know, the theme that we've been talking about this month is building self-confidence for authors, building your self-confidence. And today's topic is collaboration to achieve your goals. Collaboration to achieve your goals. Now, you know, when I'm talking to women to bring out their genius, you often hear me mention collaboration. And, you know, I'm having a, I have a big project going on right now with a group of women with collaboration. Because I find that it's better to do something as a group as opposed to, you know, sometimes people trying to do it alone. Thank you for joining me today. There are people out there that are afraid of failing. Just like there are people out there who are afraid of success. But when you're in a group setting, it kind of takes the edge off of those things. It kind of make it easier. Because, you know, everybody's not a self-starter. Some people need a little inspiration to get started. That's fine. That's fine. You know, that's why I use different vehicles to be able to move people into their genius. Everybody, like I said, is not a self-starter. And what may be easy for you may not be easy for someone else. So collaboration. Now, I find out also Another caveat is what people struggle with is competition. Competition. When you have unhealthy th thoughts about competition, excuse me, it causes limitations. Unhealthy thoughts about competition. Now, competition is good because competition will help you, you know, improve yourself, better your goals, better your skills. But when you see it where you got to compete and have unhealthy thoughts about it, you know, it, it can be a very limiting thing. Thank you for joining me today. So instead of seeing people as your competition, focus on ways that you can collaborate with them. I hear a lot of women talking about, well, you know, so-and-so already uh, have written a book about that. And, you know, there's too many books uh, out there written on that subject. But you're unique. You see, that's an unhealthy uh, thought about competition. 
When you go into the grocery store, how many brands of bread is there? How many uh, brands of um, macaroni is, is there? You know? How many brands? You can't have that thought about competition in an unhealthy way because it will cause limitations. It will hold you back. And then you'll hold back on your brilliance and not go forth with your message that somebody is waiting for. First of all, let me tell you about this. First of all, you should never be in competition with to outdo somebody else, trying to outdo somebody else. Never do that, okay? Always endeavor being better today than you were yesterday. Always. And only when you achieve that mindset shift are you going to be free to achieve your goals. You're going to be free to achieve your goals because you're not looking at it in a negative light. And what we're talking about today is collaboration to achieve goals. Always embrace uniqueness and what you have to bring to the table. What is it that you have to bring to the table? Because someone's out there waiting on the message in your book. Someone's out there waiting on it. They're waiting on your expertise. Because I'm going to tell you, how many storms have you been through to get where you are today? How many? Someone is waiting to understand how to accomplish something that they are presently struggling with and they fail in time after time after time. Something that you could easily guide them through. Success, ladies, success is when your audience connects with you on a level, and they begin to see you as their expert. That's what success is all about. Because being an expert by just saying it, that's nothing. That's nothing at all. You need to be able to move people and touch them into taking action. Thank you for joining me today. Touch them into taking action. You know, I'm involved in several weekly networking events where I present my services and I listen to other people present theirs. And I'm going to tell you, this is one of the most valuable things that provides many benefits. Most valuable. Networking, collaborations. All of us have our own ideal audiences. But when we collaborate, listen to this. When we collaborate, it makes it so much easier to achieve your goals. So much easier. Thank you for joining me today. You have to be open to learn what's out there that can enhance what you are currently doing. You have to be open to that. You will never know who you connect with in order to further your goals in life. So always be open to that. Don't shy away from that. Don't see people as being competition. See them as collaborators. As I mentioned yesterday, we were talking about how collaboration improves performance. And you know, it certainly does. Because it not only sharpens your skills, but it expands your reach. It expands your reach. Think about that. Ladies, I want you to see yourself in a different light. Because there's absolutely no time to 
you know, play small. This is a big deal. Your message in your book is a big deal. You're a big deal. You know, you have to begin to see yourself in a different way because people are waiting to read your message so their lives could be changed. And that's what success is all about. That's what success is all about. I told you about the young lady that I'm working with. She's been struggling for years. I only spent maybe a half hour with her and I told her some things. And she quickly moved and she's accomplishing those things. And in a week's time, she has gotten a lot done. Thank you for joining me today. She has gotten a lot done. I'm going to tell you, if you ever get a glimpse of what you have and who you really are, connected, you know, with your purpose, you will never settle back to being just mediocre. Thank you for joining me today. You'll never settle back to that. Because the world is waiting on your message. What do you have on the inside of you that you could talk about? What is that? What topic do you get lost in, you know, when you're talking about it and, and you really, you know, begin to smile and it brings joy and, you know, your energy level goes up? What is that? What is that topic that really lights you up? And you could go on and on and on just talking about it. And you love when, you know, people bring it up or, you know, when it comes up in conversation. What is it? What is it that you have? You know, when I'm talking with different groups of people, the entire experience is fire. I'm telling you, it's fire, y'all. It is lit. Think of how much value this not only has for you, but also the added benefits for your audience. Thank you for joining me today. Because collaboration benefits everyone involved, and that includes the collaborators' audiences also. You know, it's very easy when you use collaboration to achieve your goals. There's no struggle there. There's no struggle. So that's why I want you to begin to see it in a different way. Instead of being competition, see it as collaboration to achieve your goals. Focus on collaboration instead of competition. Seeing competition and, and what happens when you, you see competition. You shy back and you withhold yourself. And I'm going to tell you, that's a huge waste of energy. A huge waste of energy. Because it causes people to be stagnated. It causes people to hold back on their brilliance. It causes people to dim their light. And you are brilliant. You are brilliant. So never be ashamed and never withhold yourself and, you know, get out of that limitation of, of thinking that what you have is not important. Live your truth. Be your authentic self and welcome collaboration. Welcome collaboration because collaboration will help you to achieve your goals and not only your goals, but everybody involved. So Take that, you know, and I hope that, you know, that brought value. You could take that to the bank and use it. Use that collaboration and you'll see how much benefit that you got from it. Because immediately, that's an actionable step. Immediately, things will begin to change for you. So, with that being said, I want to invite you to Find out why collaboration matters. Why does collaboration matter? 
So schedule a 15 minute discovery call with me. And you could go there by going to bit.ly forward slash generate revenue 2021. That's bit.ly forward slash generate revenue 2021. And, you know, collaborate. Don't be afraid to collaborate. Get out of the mindset of competition and see collaboration. And I guarantee your life will change. Your life will be impacted. So I hope that what I've shared with you has brought value to your life. And then that you can begin to put this into practice on a daily basis. And, you know, see your message as being vital, being important in somebody else's life. And begin writing your book. Get intentional about it. You know, this year is not over. You still have time to write that book, write that message that you've been, uh, you've been constantly putting it off. You know, you want to do it, but things got in the way. So this, uh, schedule that discovery call with me by going to bit.ly forward slash generate revenue 2021. And I want to thank you for taking time out of your busy schedule to join me today on this topic, Collaboration to Achieve Goals. You've been listening to the Aspiring Authors Lab Morning Show. And I'm your host, Gertrude J. Chapman, your number one inspirational book coach. Remember, this is your time. This is your season. This is your turning point. So have a great rest of the day.